gentlemen let me tell you this by the privilege of God's grace this man stand I don't claim to know everything but I can tell you I've worked with God a bit I truly know what commands power many of the things we think bring power is not what brings power technology does not fast technology does not pray technology can help you hear a message but ladies and gentlemen whether you hear Bible on tape you hear Bible on whatever until you pray until you build your spirit man and have a track record with God don't misunderstand me remember point one over dependence are we together the moment something goes wrong the first thing most believers think about is um, which of my certificates can solve this problem which connection I know is a simple thing I, I can manage it small pain there I know I'm just waiting my, my brother is a doctor somewhere can I tell you the truth the days that we are in now are days of high level spirituality where this is why you can see you can see what happens our medical people here will tell you you can find someone not taking in what is the reason everything that should make for pregnancy is there and yet it does not happen demons are telling you that if it's advancement we've tasted this long ago over dependence on the strength of the flesh submit your prayer request for prayer no my uncle just became chairman of one board somewhere and God is watching you and saying except the Lord builds a house they labor in vain that build it except the Lord watches over the city the watchmen watch it but in vain thank God for posters thank God for billboards thank God for all of these things but none of them has the power in themselves to draw intelligent people to God's presence it takes that anakazo the compelling power of the spirit to cause men to leave their homes to come and sit in your ministry who do you think you are human beings are not stupid John Wesley says set yourself on fire and the whole world will come and watch you burn Can I tell you? I know there is E everything, but there is no E fire. Mm -mm. If it is fire, it must be right there. You must set it, and the impact must be felt there. Over dependence. Can I tell you? We are people who value knowledge. We are people who value all of the provisions that our times have made for us. But when I go before God, I don't go and say, Lord, we have this, we have... Mm -mm, mm -mm. There is something about the power of God and, the, and, the, and dependence. Dependence. A mic can amplify your voice, but it cannot impart the anointing. philosophies volumes and volumes of intellectual dissertations that do not have the power to transform you will finish talking intelligently and raise an altar call and half of the congregation is full of sinners and not one person will come out someone just trolls out out of pity ah. I made up my mind that I would never stand on any pulpit and just, just talk stories. And sometimes, you know, a sermon is going and people can even be distracted. Somebody is gisting and saying, instead of listening to this guy wasting our time, let's at least be discussing, the, let's use the opportunity and quickly discuss the business on Monday. Go and read your Bible and see what happened in the past when preachers were preaching. There were people who were passing. They were not part of the people there. The power of God will hook them up like a and keep them there. Preachers, let's return back to the place of dependence. 
thank God for all of these things. No man can build any ministry, not by any formula. Thank God for principles here and there. I do not negate them. Principles of excellence, principles of this. But let me tell you, presence supersedes principles. Principles only work when presence is in place. Over dependence on the strength of the flesh. Giving credit to men, giving credit to the flesh. No. That is the reason why when God wants to make such statement, He lifts ordinary people like us and puts us there as a statement to say, This treasure that is so earthen. But there is the excellency of power, you know, so that the excellency of power might be of God and not of us. Zechariah chapter 1 verse 3. Let's hurry up. Zechariah 1 verse 3. Therefore say thou unto them, thus saith the Lord of hosts, Turn ye unto me, saith the Lord of hosts, and I will turn unto you. Can I tell you, don't expect God to turn to you if you have not turned to him. You turn to him as a sign of your desperation. As a sign of your desperation. There is, there is, nothing, so, there is nothing as powerful as a believer coming to God and saying, Lord... Thank God for all these things I have. My business connections. Thank God for the intelligence. I have degrees. I have all of this. But I stand before you, oh God, and I acknowledge that if you do not open a door in this Abuja, that door will not be opened. If you do not open a door, it will not be opened. And God says, in spite of all these things, you still have the sense to look unto me. Now, the Bible says, they looked unto him and their faces were lightened. Do you know why several people, especially in this season, continue to fall victims of shame and the rest in spite of whatever qualifications? I will tell you why. Because when God wants to use people, he uses you in a way that all men will see that it is his power at work in you. And if for any reason you have the tendency of pushing him in front of the stage light, you will not do business with God. Over dependence on the strength of the flesh. Over dependence. We have to repent of this pride, not just men of God. I tell you, this, this, our generation is so arrogant. Building of empires, it is by my strength. Every man was a baby in the hand of a woman one day. We have to be careful. There is the God who sits the monarch of the universe. And we must be careful. Let's our preachers, let's be careful. As God keeps doing mighty things through our lives, we must be careful. Let members know we are men. It's just that we are of God. This, this system of self-glorification, there is a difference between honor and pride. Go and read your Bible and see what happened to people who refused to acknowledge God. We give you the highest, the highest praise to the King. I give you the loudest. Yeah. I lift my holy hands. I give you worship, worship, the highest praise to the King. I give you worship, worship. You have taken all the pain, you have taken all the sorrows, you have taken all limitations, you have taken all the tears, you have made them yours. Listen, lesson number one this night, if you want God to use you this year, let your knees be close to the ground. When men clap for you and say you build this house in two months, 
you bought this house 500 million like buying a recharge card the moment you want the devil to help and massage your back satan kills don't forget he's a thief he will first clap for you before he kills you may this be the year where God will heal through you, man of God. And when people begin to idolize you, you say, listen, I thank God for using me, but let me tell you sincerely, there is one who is mightier than I am. I'm only a vessel. Over dependence. Business people, let me encourage you. The person talking to you is not stupid. God gave us brains. That is true. But there is something about depending on him god knows that i depend on him this ministry depends on him for everything we may not know everything it takes to succeed from a psychological standpoint from a from an intellectual standpoint and we will continue to learn but can i tell you and the lord walking with them that was the secret confirming the word with signs following you think technology can turn hiv uh, positive to negative just like that thank god for the advancement in medicine and gynecology and all of these things have you not seen people who have tried everything and yet no child this is a message God is speaking to someone already. The day you stop depending on your power, can I tell you, go and carry your certificate. Go and carry your, your real estate company registration. Drop it on the ground and say, Lord, you are exalted above it. You are exalted above it. You are exalted. Carry your ID card. I know you work with World Bank. I know you work with all. Drop it on the ground and say, Lord, I depend on you. Let the mockers laugh at you while you are depending on him. And he continues to lift you. We give you worship. Worship. The highest praise to the king. We give you worship. Worship. The highest praise to the king. We bow down. We bow down. The deepest worship to the king. We lift up holy hands. Read your Bible and see why God honored Solomon so much. There's no time I would have shown you. There are two reasons why God lifted Solomon. One was because of his sacrifice, but two was because of the nature of his dependence in asking for God gave him a, a blank check. What do you want, including your enemies? He did not say, give me wisdom, go and read it. He said, Lord, are you see, you know the kind of person you have called, as limited as I am like this, I am unable to lead this your people so please grant unto your servant an understanding heart and the bible says it please the lord he said because you have not asked for this or the life of your enemies of this and that and that you have asked for understanding to discern judgment he said i will give you verse 12 now says i will give you all of these things and understanding heart so that there is no man like you that's it in addition to this I will give you the things you have not asked for both riches and honor that means riches and shame can go together dependence apostle I just got an award I came back from Harvard I'm the best student it's impossible for Nigeria to reject me <laughs> You go and read about your country. Someone can be in his room just crying and say, Lord, this is not self-condemnation. I hope you understand what I'm teaching you. Yes. Carry everything. When, go and learn the mystery of the worship of the elders. 
the 24 elders did they have to remove their crowns to worship why didn't they worship with their crowns I thought the most important part of worship is your knees go and learn from them your knees are useless until your crown is on the ground many of us are kneeling down with our crown and God is saying so who is king now We pray that God will raise extremely successful people who will teach the nations dependence. That when people are asking you and say, how did you build this thing? You can tell them all the principles and then wrap up by saying, can I tell you, there are gaps in this equation that even me, I don't know the answer. I just know that one plus one was there wisdom plus divine direction plus relationships plus diligence plus discipline plus god equal to my answer many times people try to ask me the secrets of this the secrets of that and i share with them principles i share with you principles but from the beginning to the end of my sharing i can tell you that there are gaps in our knowledge that only the size of God can feel. Preacher, you will not build a church just by principles. You can be the most sincere person with character and integrity and nobody will still come to your church. You can preach truth, heaven, hell, rapture, doctrine with soundness of scripture and remain there as if God did not call you. I am undone before your glorious majesty I cast my crown before the highest royalty I am undone before your glorious majesty you're the king of kings and lord of lords you are the king You are the Lord. Your royal majesty. 